I have a pretty good idea that this weekend there's going to be a lot of folks using their pools. Mm -hmm. Probably not around the coast, San Francisco, the no. cooler spots. They're going to be cool because this weather pattern is going to change very little as we head through the next several days. We're looking at low clouds and fog spreading out once again tonight. It's already just over the city as we speak. We'll talk more about that in a second. Some coastal drizzle possible, but not much more than a trace of moisture there. Cooler than normal temperatures are going to continue regardless of whether it's underneath the June gloom that's going to continue into early July or farther inland. But Independence Day weekend is looking overall pretty pleasant if you don't mind that back and forth fog pattern. Here it is. It has not budged really at all over San Francisco and along the coast, even over Oakland. The gray skies have stuck around all day. Only 61 for the high temperature downtown. Half Moon Bay made it to 63 degrees somehow. 75 degrees San Jose for the high temperature where the sun did break through and made it up to 80 in Concord and 83 degrees in Fairfield. So it just depends on whether, you know, whether or not you saw that sunshine emerge. Uh, temperatures right now, even with the warmer conditions inland, that's still way below normal for the last day of June. 80 degrees in Fairfield is the warm spot. We'll take that. 77 in Santa Rosa, 76 Concord, 73 San Jose. It's 66 at SFO. It is not downtown. Temperatures have already dipped down into the upper 50s and temperatures have retreated significantly compared to 24 hours ago. Around the bay only 2 to 4 degrees. Same thing along the coast but farther inland 4 to 8 degrees cooler for the North Bay. 10 to 15 degrees cooler for the East Bay farther inland with temperatures staying steady now as we go through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. And it's breezy as well. The strongest wind gusts in the 20 to 25 mile an hour range this evening. Not enough to prompt a wind advisor but enough to get your attention, and those winds don't die down a whole lot initially this evening. More of a trend towards slightly lighter wind gusts as we head towards early tomorrow morning, but then they're going to pick right back up. Again, it's nothing to be overly concerned about. It's just going to be noticeable, especially where the gray skies are tough to shake. It just makes it feel that much cooler. Let's take a look at Futurecast and show you all that gray spreading back out as we head through the rest of tonight from around the bay and along the coast, spreading into the inland valleys with a few flecks of green indicating that coastal drizzle. And then the fog and low cloud cover is going to try to back up. The tricky part of the forecast, the part that's going to make my hairline recede for the rest of the week, is trying to figure out whether or not the skies are going to clear out and to what extent over San Francisco and Oakland. They didn't really at all today. I think there's a slightly better chance of seeing some sunshine peeking through by Thursday afternoon. A better chance on Friday. Again, it's going to be the same story early in the day with widespread low cloud cover and fog, but it does look like it's going to push just a little bit farther west towards the coast by Friday afternoon with a similar trend as we head into the holiday weekend. So temperatures tonight, about where they should be this time of year, mid to upper 50s to around 60 degrees. High temperatures tomorrow, below average, but you're not going to call it a cold snap, three to seven degrees below normal. 60s around the bay with a mix of upper 70s and low 80s farther inland. So let's zoom in for a closer look. Right around 60 degrees along the coast with that gray sky not taking a break there at all. Temperatures down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay, mostly in the low to mid 70s with a mix of upper 70s and low 80s for the Santa Clara Valley, reaching 78 degrees in San Jose. You will stay short of 80. Mid to upper 70s to around 80 degrees for the Tri-Valley with the warmest temperatures inland in the East Bay only reaching the mid 80s. That's not bad for the first day of July. 86 in Antioch and Brentwood will definitely take that. Low 60s for San Francisco again with mid to maybe upper 60s for the East Bay and a mix of mid to upper 70s and low 80s for most inland parts of the North Bay until you head farther north where temperatures are still going to be hotter. Low to mid 90s for Mendocino and Lake Counties until you get closer to the coast in Mendocino County. Even northern Sonoma and Napa counties are going to be significantly warmer than points farther to the south. The temperatures there should also relax a little bit as we head closer to the holiday weekend. But for the rest of us, very little change day to day. Maybe a little baby warming trend inland as we head into the warming, the, excuse me, the holiday weekend. Yes, a warmer weekend as well, but just barely. Temperatures around the bay, mid 60s for San Francisco, mid to upper 60s for the East Bay, right around 60 degrees along the coast.